Hey YouTube, good morning. Just a quick video from uh, kind of the hotel area at the Orlando airport. Hey look, some jaywalkers. Nice, mapped them all, didn't really react to it at all. So this is kind of the hotel area uh, on Semeron Boulevard in Orlando uh, with a quick drive uh, to uh, the headquarters building where I work. Uh, so it's kind of the airport area and there's a lot of construction going on. Um, so I don't have a whole lot of hope for a, <clears throat> an intervention free drive here because there's just a lot of things it has to kind of try to interpret. But either way, it should be an interesting little clip. It, it won't be very long other than perhaps sitting at these lights uh, and see how it goes. All right, we caught this yellow light here and it went ahead and stopped. All right, I didn't want to have to make you watch this uh, entire stoplight. So I just turned the camera off for a second. But here is, is the intersection. It's probably getting ready to turn green in a second. I was just going to show you a little bit of the screen. Maybe I'll go to night mode here just for this little clip. I don't know if that's any better or not. Um, hopefully so. All right. That feels like it's still too dark. day 100% oh, yeah night 100% is not enough all right sorry guys for the patience there I'm trying to find the best display that shows with the ambient light here so yesterday I was talking a little bit about the lights and the controlling lights there's a green arrow so we got the green and two reds it's controlling it's got a good pass so I'm gonna kind of let it go for it here all right looks good all right, so coming up here, as you can see on the route, I've got a kind of a lot of construction cones uh, that are redoing this overpass. <laughs> and you can see the lane shift sign here. Um, <clears throat> and there's a temporary exit only sign there. Let's see how this goes. I need to be in the right lane here in a second uh, as soon as I get over this overpass to do this clover leaf here. All right, it's got a blinker. All right, so I'm in the right lane. This is good. And on this curve, there's a lot of cones that previously uh, I've done this turn. Okay, it's slowing down quite a bit here. There's nobody behind me, so I'm okay. Uh, so now it's just kind of, it's a normal lane, but there's just a lot of barrels. And sometimes the logic says I need to get away from these barrels, but of course there's nowhere to go. Speed's okay, a little bit extra slow. Ooh, interesting, a road close sign there, this marking nowhere. Hey, it's doing okay here. All right, uh, I've got a very short section here of a merge onto uh, a 528, which is a highway. Ooh, God, that, it was going too fast right next to that truck. It might have made it, but sometimes it goes a little wide when it does those accelerations and it was it was going over too far all right here's a merge it's got a blinker on that was good and I know this sun angle is not great but I'm only going to be here for a second so it needs to get over in the right lane and it knows that hey I was pretty aggressive it squeezed in between two cars we're in regular navigator and autopilot now on this highway <clears throat> and we're taking this next exit here So back to that last intervention, I, if I could describe it right, there was a, 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 a semi, a, an 18 wheeler that you could see up there in the truck that was exactly adjacent to me and I was accelerating out of that turn. And a lot of times when it's accelerating like that, it hugs that left lane. Sometimes it's crossed it in the past. So I, it was just too close and I didn't see it giving that truck the normal kind of buffer that it normally gives trucks. Um, I might have been able to get away with the car might not have gotten an accident I was not comfortable with that acceleration and closure right there which is why I disengaged it um, I honestly I think it was because of the speed and it was going on the outside edge of the turn here okay traffic control it does have a red light here and like I was talking about earlier 
Interesting, I'm looking up into the sun and it says no turn on red. Okay, I gotta mark that because the sign up there definitely said no turn on red. So um, I'm not allowed to do that here. Okay, now it's green so I can uh, go ahead and re-engage. Okay, that's two interventions. One of them was a maybe. That was a definite no-no. It was clearly marked no turn on red. It was kind of high, but it was marked. Um, I don't I don't know about the upward visibility. Obviously, when you're further back, you can see it. It was a little bit candid to the right. Okay, so this light turned yellow. Now it's a right on red scenario. Stopping for traffic control, autopilot creeping forward, checking for visibility. It's plenty clear to the right, so I don't mind it taking its time here. There's no cars behind me. Okay, and now with that angle, it was using the rear repeater camera, but this intersection had no obstructions. It had full 360 degree visibility. Okay, it got me here. Um, the right on red, eh, that was a, that's a rules thing. The intervention at the uh, merge on the highway was just too uncomfortable for me to let it go solvable in my opinion that didn't have anything to do with uh, anything other than perhaps the acceleration speed and, and looking at the traffic scenario that it, it had in front of it all right this is the end of the drive here um, I'll post this hopefully quickly and I'll uh, look forward to your comments below have a great day everybody